What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, I actually wanted to talk to you about an exercise. Uh, what should I call it? Uh, let's call it the clave independence exercise. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a name for it yet, guys, but let's just call it the clave independence exercise. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, commenting on the videos, man. Seriously got a lot of great feedback from my video that I posted a couple days ago in regards to how to record from home. Bunch of messages, man. A bunch of people just like reaching out and I love it, man. I love to be able to share just the things and tools that I use to record from home. And I think a lot of you are actually starting to do that, you know, in spite of what's going on. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just good to see people kind of getting together and do all these crazy things. So in today's video, I actually wanted to show an independence exercise very similar to a video I showed last Thursday where you're really working your non-dominant hand and trying to kind of exercise those muscles. But the difference is I'm actually going to be showing it in three different ways using just three different forms of clave. Yeah, it's gonna get kind of crazy up in here. But again, you gotta love these things, man. It's really, really gonna kind of test you to figure out where to kind of play along with the clave and use, again, your non-dominant hand as that guide in that train that just does not stop. But yeah, let me show you the first independence clave exercise. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Pretty simple. Again, that non-dominant hand is just going base finger or palm finger or palm tip or base tip, whatever you want to call it, but it's just doing that. And as you see that my dominant hand is actually keeping that 3-2 clave pattern. So yeah, so we're going to do 3-2 son clave, then we're going to do 2-3 son clave, and then we're going to try rumba clave. So to put it all together, basically I start this pattern with a bass with my non-dominant hand and at the same time I'm going to do a close slap with my dominant hand. So it's going to sound like this. And again, because that non-dominant hand is going bass finger, bass finger, bass finger, what follows is going to be a finger with my non-dominant hand. And then with my dominant hand, I'm going to do a bass. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm going to do another finger. But I'm going to do another close slap at the same time that I do that finger. So it's going to sound like this. To put it together up to this point. And again, because we're continuing that movement with your non-dominant hand, that bass finger movement, after that finger, what follows is a bass and then another finger and then another bass. But again, with that bass, with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do another close slap with your dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. To put it together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. All right, we're halfway through this first exercise, which is actually the first three hits of a 3-2 song clave. So if you notice, those are the first three hits of that clave, accompanied by the bass finger movement with your non-dominant hand. 
Now this next part is kind of tricky because you're going to have somewhat of a rest with your dominant hand. So you have to kind of put your focus on your non-dominant. So after finishing those two hits with the base and your close slap with your dominant hand, what follows is going to be a finger, base, and finger, all with your non-dominant hand. And then what follows after that basically is going to be a bass with your non-dominant hand and then a close slap with your dominant hand. And then you're going to go back to your non-dominant hand, do the finger part, which is what follows in that bass finger movement, and then go back to doing the bass. At the same time, you're going to do a close slap there. So basically those two bases that follow with your non-dominant hand, they're going to be accompanied by two close slaps. So it's going to sound like this. So to put that second part together, it's going to sound like this. Now to put it all together up to this point, it's going to sound like this. And that's basically it. But in order for you to keep on going, because you're finishing off with a bass with your non-dominant hand and a close slap with your dominant hand, which kind of finishes that three, two song clave, what follows is going to be a finger, bass, and finger to go back to the first two hits that you're going to do with your non-dominant hand and your dominant hand. So to kind of show you kind of finishing off the last two hits on the clave to do that just the second part to kind of help you do this all over again. Let me just kind of show it to you slowly. Yeah, that's basically it. And then, you know, you keep on going and going. So to put it all together and playing it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Now try that for like five or 10 minutes and your non-dominant hand is gonna be so mad at you, man. Yeah, you gotta love it. Now to count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And again, you can do this with two drums. All I'm doing is putting the larger drum to my non-dominant side and using that as like my extension for my non-dominant hand. You can get creative, but again, you could do it this way if you want. But I feel like doing it this way and having your non-dominant hand here on your main drum, you just feel so much more comfortable. Again, we're trying to make you uncomfortable. And by extending your non-dominant hand this way, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel the difference from playing it this way versus playing it this way. Trust me, try it at home. Hi. Hey. Look, I can <laughs> I know, puppy, I'm working. Hey, go have fun. Now to do it for a 2-3 song clave, if you figured out the first part, if you figured out the 3-2 two 
exercise. Since we broke it down in pieces, right, and we're in parts, we figured out the first part and then we figured out the second part. All you have to do is flip it, all right? So you're gonna start on the second part. So that's all it is. But uh, yeah, to kind of give you that example, it's gonna sound like this. Pretty, pretty simple. So I start with a bass finger with my non-dominant hand, and then I follow that with a bass with my non-dominant hand, and then a close slap with my dominant hand at the same time. So it's gonna sound like this. And to kind of give you a clue, that first bass that you do is going to be the one. So just to kind of help you in reference to not confuse yourself, with the three two song clave exercise. After doing the bass with my non-dominant hand and the close slap with my dominant hand at the same time, what follows is going to be a finger and then again, a bass with your non-dominant hand and a close slap with your dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that together. So again, we're halfway through this exercise. We finished the two side of the two, three song clave. So yeah, now to do the three side. And if you remember the first part, what is going to happen now is going to be a rest for your dominant hand. And you're going to now focus everything to your non-dominant side. So basically what you're going to do is a finger, bass, and finger, all on your non-dominant hand. And if you paid attention to that specific part, it's actually the closing part that helps you kind of start the whole circle for the three two song clave. So that's the rest area for that one. But what follows after that is going to be a bass with your non-dominant hand and then a close slap with your dominant hand. And that's what's going to start the three side of this clave. To put just this second part together, it's gonna to sound like this. Now to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that bass with your non-dominant hand and that close slap with your dominant hand, what's going to follow with your non-dominant hand should be a finger, bass and then a finger, but with that finger is going to be accompanied by another close slap with your dominant. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put it together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. After doing those two hits together, what follows with your non-dominant hand is going to be a bass and then a finger. And then again, because you're going to do that bass, which follows, you're going to do another close slap with your dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put all together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. And the difference to start it all over in comparison to the first exercise, all you're going to do is just follow it with a finger because then that's going to take you back to the one, which is the first bass hit that you did for this exercise. So to kind of play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Now to count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, 
And again, you can play this to your dominant side, but again, too comfortable and we want to get uncomfortable because these are exercises. These are things that, you know, it's going to help you grow and develop. So when you are comfortable, when you are playing, you know, in the normal way, it feels so much easy. So that that's kind of the point. But to hear it this way, it's going to sound like this. Now for rumba clave. Now, this one's completely different than these other two exercises, but you gotta love it. But before explaining it to you, let me play it out so you could see kind of just the, the trickery of it. Yeah, let me show it to you first. Like I said, there's some trickery to it. Yeah, gotta love it. So the hard part with this exercise is to kind of keep the rumba clave feel. Um, it's It sounds a little bit too uh, robotic and mechanical, but again, this is just an exercise. It's kind of meant to challenge your mind and kind of make it fit doing a bass tip exercise. So I start this exercise with the bass with my non-dominant hand and then a close slap with my dominant hand. After that, what follows with your non-dominant hand is going to be a tip or finger, then a bass, and then another finger, and that's going to be accompanied by another close slap with your dominant hand. To put it together up to this point, And here's the tricky part, which is very different than what you do with the three song clave part, but, and, and then everything else kind of goes back to normal, but this is kind of like the crazy part. So after doing that finger and close slap together, what's going to follow is a bass and then a finger and then another bass. And then at the finger part, that's where you're going to do the close slap with your dominant hand. So it's going to sound like this. So to put it together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. You feel that hesitation or that lag or what distinguishes what it is that rumba clave, that's, that's where yeah, that feel kind of comes from. And then it's kind of like how you're finishing off with the three two so clave. After doing that finger with the close slap, which is what's different, you're going to do a bass and then a finger. And then what follows is a close slap with a bass and then a finger and then another close slap with the bass. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put it all together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. And just like the three tune song clave, to be able to start it all over, what's going to happen is a finger, bass, and finger, and then you're going to go back to doing that bass and close slap, which starts the whole thing over. So to kind of just show you that part, it's gonna sound like this. So to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this.
Uh, again, do that for five, 10 minutes and your non-dominant hand is gonna be so mad at you. I'm trying to tell you. Now to count it slowly for you guys is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. And again, if you wanted to play it to your dominant side, but again, it's so comfortable. It's gonna sound like this. And you do not have to use close slaps for your dominant hand. You could switch it up, you could do opens, you can get kind of creative with it with all of these exercises to just kind of give you an example of that using just the three, two song clave exercise. It's gonna sound like this. Get creative with it. Do some fun. Don't 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 be bored doing the same thing. Just have some fun. Challenge yourself. Get creative and yeah, you know, that's the point of these crazy exercises is that you're able to make it your own. But yeah, really do hope you guys enjoyed this exercise. Try it at home. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Oh.